and welcome back you lovely lot and a big warm welcome to anybody new joining us today now guys we've got this lovely purple set for you i'm using not polish and then the first thing i'm going to do is come in on the little finger i'm doing an ombre on here ombre ombre i know i'm crazy I'm losing the plot right now right okay what's this one guys it is love machine this is a beautiful lilac and it's got like a shimmer to it so what i'm going to do is feather that back pull it down the nail and then just even that out keeping the shape all the time so sweeping the sides i'm going to leave that to set up now i've come in with a bead here it's light sand uh, sg190 from not polish Guys, this bead isn't big enough, so you've got two choices. You can either sweep it off, start again, don't get a bigger bead. I would have I would have used this size bead on normal length nail. These are extra long and I obviously was not paying attention, so I thought, right, okay. What I'll do is I'll shape it, feather it back, shape it, use that as my base. And then come in with another bead, which is exactly what I've done. So I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to come in with that second bead. Blend it at the back there. Pull it up and over. Bearing in mind that first bead set in. So I'm getting a bit of a wiggle on here. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm such a faffa. I'm going to bring that up and over. Smooth around those edges. Not bothered about the top i can sort the top out later i want to try and get this wall even on both sides i need it to go down equal on both sides so when i put in my smile line color later on it's going to be the same on both the left and the right sides okay once i'm happy with that i'm going to come in with that cuticle bead set that down nudge that in place that down pull it on the right come round pull it down on the left and then just pull the front of that bead up and over make sure I'm not touching the cuticle I'm going to even that out and then make sure that that bead hasn't interfered with the work we've already done um, I'm going to leave that to set up and move on I will file that later so i'm really sorry guys i thought it was recording but it wasn't this is a marble nail but i am going to do exactly the same on the tip of that smile line so you will get to see that what i'm doing here though is i am putting in some what's up flakes so i'm popping that into that wet layer and then i'm coming in with stargazer from nail chemi i'm trying to think and it is a pigment so i'm basically threading that through clean off my brush and then go back and like swipe some away press it into the color it's got like a lilac shimmer to it and i just thought with the lilac flakes it would just give like a really shiny uh marble i've got to say guys this was my favorite nail I am going to leave that set up. I'm coming back to the ombre on the little finger and I am coming in with Mamba Sita M107 from Not Polish. This is the darkest purple that I've got. So I'm going with a wet bead on where the lilac, which is Love Machine, finishes. And I'm going to pop that on there and then fade it up. Then I'm going to pick up another bead of Mamba Sita m107 from not polish i'm going to drain the back of that bead so i get the intensity of that color and this is where my ombre starts to blend you can see i've got the dark purple into the wetter mamba Sita, which is in the middle and then love machine at the top just to make sure i'm happy with that blend i'm going to go in with a small bead of love machine wet and then blend those two together i'm really happy with that so i am going to leave that to set up on the pointer finger i'm coming in with midnight cruise this is a medium purple that i've got from not polish this is 148 and i'm going to pop that at the tip area on the pointer finger so what i do is i go in with a wet bead feather it back bring it down 
and then I'm going to intensify that colour just a little bit by adding a couple of beads. I will leave that to set up, file with a brand new file that smile line into shape. Then what I'm going to do is come in with the darkest purple, Mambasita M107 from Not Polish. Now, for those of you that watch my channel, you'll know that when it comes to smile lines, I like to have a really dark colour or complete contrast, so the white, because it really, really shows up that smile line. So to get the smile line prominent on the set, I'm going to go around it with that dark purple. Then I'm going to come in with all four purples that I am using and I'm going to marble the tip. So I'm coming in with really teeny tiny beads guys, just around that smile line. I don't want it up the wall, I want it on the nail. But this will, you'll see, you can see what it's doing. It uh, makes that smile line pop. So that's what I'm doing here and then I'm going to come in with the beads. So I come in with Love Machine. Purple Kisses is the glittery purple. The medium purple is Midnight Cruise. I also add a little bit of clear and I will swish that one way then the other. Try and blend it into that colour we've just put around the smile line. Make sure also I'm also going round the C curve in these nails because there really is quite a steep C curve on these then I'm going to add them again this time I'm going to come in with Midnight Cruise first Love Machine Purple Kisses is the glittery one Mamba Cita is the dark one and a little bit of clear marble that again just on the tip I'm coming in with the teeniest tiniest beads I don't have a lot of nail estate here once I'm happy with that guys I am going to come in with those flakes again and then a little bit of the pigment have to be careful when picking up the flakes with a wet brush because you can get clumps so what I tended to do was wipe it on the towel at the side of me and then kind of pick up the little ones that I need and you can see them all floating around because I don't want to cover up what I've already done I want to highlight it so I'm going to come in with that pigment I'm going to dab teeny tiny little bits in between and then brush it into that wet acrylic. I'm going to leave that set up and I'm going to go back to the pointer finger. I'm going to come in with that nail bed colour again. As before with the other ombre, I'm going to put a wet bead where the purple finishes and then bring that up and over. Then I'm going to pick up the cuticle bead, pop that down, clean my brush, tuck it in. And then nudge that in, putting my brush between the skin and the product. Remember, we don't want to get product on the skin. Pull it up and over, fade it in. I'm not too bothered about the ombre on this one, just because I'm going to come in with some glitter. I have some eco-friendly glitter, and I do believe it's the first time I've used it. I'm going to come in with that. It's called a Lilac Breeze from SS UK. And I'm going to do a trail of that from the top right up across where those two colours meet and up the top left of the tip. Now as you can see I pop the glitter down and then I manoeuvre it into place. I take away anything that I don't like, any that go astray that shouldn't be where I want it. Now I also come in I'm going to layer these glitters. I've got a Mylar Lilac from the Glitter Fairy. She's now called Lucy's Glitter Boutique, I believe. I'm going to link it below, but I do know she does do this glitter. Now, what I do is, it's a complete fluke, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say, oh yes, it was my great idea, because it wasn't. The glitter got on the tip, and I thought, I like that. So, I come back in with the two glitters, and I manoeuvre it up and round. So, I've got like a, like a, an oval, half an oval on that lilac on that purple colour as the glitter comes up across and then sweeps at the top of that tip I really liked it so I thought yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that so yeah it was a complete fluke anyway guys what I'm gonna do is like I said finish off this glitter 
layering it up till I'm happy. I will then clear cap all of these nails, file and buff them into shape. I'm going to do that off camera because it's really quite a long video. And we're going to do some one stroke. I'm going to be using artisan gel paints and I have purple and white on a palette and I'm going to load up my ombre brush and we're going to come in on this ring finger. Now there's lots of ways that people do one stroke. In this particular one I'm going to use a dabbing motion so it's dab 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 dab. You'll see it goes dab dab. Reload my brush on the palette at the side of me. Come back in. Dab 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 following that brush round guys once i'm happy with that i am going to fully cure that and then i'm going to come back in again reload that brush just to intensify the color you do tend to do that with one stroke now you can use gel paints like i am doing here or you can use acrylic paint the only thing i tend to use acrylic paint for is the aquarelle so your choice have a play see which one you prefer now i have done two flowers but i've just kept the one in like i said it was a really long video we need to cut this down and then what i wanted to do was bring in some beautiful swirls i wanted to feminize it i wanted to do some beautiful fillers in the way of the swirls and the dots and i wanted it in like an s shape so i wanted it to come around that cuticle area between the flowers up and round to the left of that left flower that you can see there again i've not kept everything in so i do a little bit flash cure it do a little bit more flash cure it the reason i flash cure it in between guys is so that if you make a mistake like i do in a minute you can wipe it away now i've done that and it was too thick so i come in with my cleanup brush and it is damp it isn't wet if this was wet i could ruin that swirl because I actually like the shape of that swirl it's nice it's just I wanted it to go lightly into the flower it's too thick for my liking so two choices wipe it away or just thin it out a little bit so in order to do that I had a lint free wipe at the side of me with gel cleanser and I wiped the tip of the brush on there so it's damp rather than wet so guys you can see what I'm doing here I'm going to finish this pretty little pattern just really really simple that's all it is i will then fully cure it in the lamp and then we can come in with the top coat a couple of dots there just to fill it in again trying to do it really lightly and not too heavy with the with the lines and the dots okay so i'm coming in with the top coat i'm scraping the barrel here so i do have to go and get a a new top coat out in a minute and then what we can do is fully top coat all of these beauties i will add a couple of gems on those flowers just to finish it off then guys we are at the end of our video today i really do hope you've enjoyed this nail play as always there is a clip at the end so you can see it in all its glory guys thank you so much for watching as always please stay safe and until next time, bye.